Disney Epic Mickey, The Power of Two, was always planned to be about Oswald as a featured player. Now you get to be him. Oswald is the quintessential forgotten Disney character. He was a major superstar in his time. And I think using him in Wasteland to be the driving force of what's going on there is the perfect, perfect choice. The first game was always about reintroducing Oswald, reminding the world who he was. In The Power of Two, we really can have this relationship develop in, in ways that we couldn't have worked. Walt Disney and Ub Iwerks created Oswald the Lucky Rabbit in response to a request from Charles Mintz, who was their distributor. They wanted a new character and created a cartoon called Trolley Troubles. It came out in 1927 and uh, was an instant hit pretty much with the public. In the uh, cartoons Walt and, and Ub Iwerks made, uh, he's always had an amazing sort of plastic quality. He can take his head off and roll it around like a bowling ball. He can break down into uh, a dozen little versions of himself. He was constantly using his ears. He would wind them up like a, a helicopter or he'd use them as an oar. We wanted to use some of those things that Walt and, and Ub created as gameplay elements. When Walt went back to New York to renegotiate the next year's series of cartoons, Charles Mintz told him at the time, not only am I not going to give you more money for these cartoons, but I actually own the character through your contract, and I've hired away most of your animators, and so you're going to have to do things the way I want you to. And Walt wasn't about to do that, and so he was just devastated. On the way home, on the train, he thought, well, I've got to come up with another character. So he started thinking about what they could do. And when he got back here to Hollywood, Walt suggested this mouse, and uh, they named him Mickey. Bob Iger, who was the CEO of the company, was very involved in negotiations with Universal in 2006 to let Al Michaels, the sportscaster, out of his contract with ABC. But during those negotiations, Bob suddenly piped up with uh, <laughs> an idea as part of the negotiations to uh, bring Oswald back, trading Al Michaels for a cartoon character. I think even Al Michaels was surprised by that. <laughs> Having something like this come up, something cutting edge and brand new, reawaken an interest in a character that's been gone for over 80 years is really exciting to a historian. But the fact that he's taking that next step is huge for me. I, I, I love that little guy to death, and uh, I want to see him as big and as famous as Mickey. So this is his next step towards having his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, you know?